Now question, exercise 2.2, question number 6. Three consecutive integers add up to 51. What are these integers? Okay. Three consecutive integers add up to 51. What are these integers? So we can say consecutive is continuous number. So let the three. Okay. Let the three consecutive numbers. Let the consecutive integers be x, x plus 1, and x plus 2. You can take like that, okay? And as per question was given here, if you add all this one, h together is given 51. Okay? So how many x is here? x, 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 that is 3x. 1 plus 2 is 3 equal to 51. Therefore, 3x equal to 51 minus 3. 3x equal to 48. So therefore, x equal to 48 divided by 3. So it will be 3, 48 divided by 3 will be 60. Okay. So therefore, the integers are x equal to 16 and x plus 1 means 16 plus 1 is 17. And x plus 2 means 16 plus 2 is 18. So the numbers are 16, 17, and 18. Okay. Now question number 7. The sum of three consecutive multiples of 8 is 888. Find the multiples. So it's given here sum of the three consecutive multiples of 8. So we'll just write here. Let the 3 consecutive multiples of 8 b what are zero you can make it here 8x 8x plus 1 and 8x plus 2 it's multiply of 8 so writing 8 8 8 otherwise it will x x plus 1 x plus 2 is the last question we did same process and same like here also, sum of the three numbers is given 888. So same, we'll add it again here. 8x plus 18 to x plus 1 plus 18 to x plus 2 equal to 888. Okay. So now, 8x will be same. Here, multiply here. 18 dx, 8x. 18 to 1, 8. Again, 18 dx is 8x. 8 to 0, 16 equal to 888. So 8, 8, 8. So 3H are 24. Plus 18 to 16 is also again 24. Equal to. So if you take here 24X here. 8, 8, 8 minus 24. Then you subtract here. So 24X equals subtract here. 8 minus 4 is 4. 8 minus 2 is 6. 864. Therefore X equal to 864 divided by 24. Now we'll divide it. So we can cut by 2 also. 12 to 0, 4 to 0, 8, 3 to 0, 2 to 0. Again, you can cut by 2, 6 to 0, 2 to 0, again 1, 6. Again, 6 cut it, 6, 36. So the answer is 36. So therefore, the numbers are 8x, uh, 8x plus 1. 8x plus 2. That means here 18 to 36. 18 to 36 plus 1. 18 to 36 plus 2. Okay, so we'll multiply now. So 18 to 36 will be how much? 288. Okay, I'm continuing here this one. Okay, again, comma 18 to 37. 18 to 37, comma, 18 to 38. Okay. So the number is 280, already we wrote, same we're writing in here. So 18 to this one is 296, again here is 304. Because it's adding 888, so easily you can just, I mean, without multiplying also, we can just put 288 plus 8, 96 plus 8, 304. Because it's multiples of 8 only, okay. Yeah, that's over for this question number 7.